when we go through a crisis, when we go through a challenge, when life takes something away from us that we thought we really wanted or needed, or when life offers us something that we thought, well, I really, really didn't want that, you know? When these sort of crisis moments occur, it is the universe asking us to go on a journey. This is the beginning of, you know, Joseph Campbell's hero's journey, is a crisis. And when life offers us something like that, of course the natural response is to, is to go to fear. But somehow from that fear state, we learn how to build new skills. We actually end up coming through the crisis. If we go on the hero's journey, right? We end up coming through it having built much deeper trust in ourselves, in others, in the universe. We've built wisdom. Um, we've built skills. We've built relationships. Uh, we have new, re new recruits. We've got new team members to help us out so that by the end of the hero's journey, we have this feeling that, hey, I'm ready for challenges like that again. And, and the fear, that kind of underlying fear that we had before of, oh, if this kind of challenge comes up, I don't know if I'm ready for it, because in a sense we're not until we go on the hero's journey. But anyway, that up-leveling happens, and we have less anxiety and less fear in our lives because we see, look at that, look what I just did, you know? Um, where I'm sitting today, I, I very much feel that. I've rebuilt my life completely in the last few months. And there are definitely days when I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it. <laughs> I was going to be able to pull it off. But I have. And it feels really, really good. The offering that I have for you guys this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. at Mount Tremper Arts in the Catskills is um, an offering of workshops of meditation, yoga, we'll do a little chanting, we'll do some energy work, and some self-inquiry work. I have some really great poignant prompts, some little questions that you can ask yourself um, as you work out, work yourself through whatever it is that you're working through right now, wherever you are in your hero's journey. And I'm going to offer all of that, a couple of meals, a fire ceremony, and it's all um, it's all based on and, and, and framed by the teaching of the four abodes from yoga and, and Buddhism, which have helped me so much. And they teach us, they teach us how to relate to the joys and the gifts and the successes in a healthy way and how to relate to the, the pain and the crises and the challenges of, of life in a healthy way. Each of the four abodes creates a, 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 a sense of kind of care, a context of that's loving and nur nurturing in the face of, of any kind of experience that is arising inside of us or all or around us. And I, I studied these bodes years and years ago. Some of you may remember me teaching them back in Brooklyn. And it's been inter it's interesting how these things resurface. For me, they came up again, these, these ancient teachings came and held me through what I've been going through. And uh, so, it's an offering, Saturday is an offering to you, and it's an offering to, to these teachings and to my teachers, who I am so grateful for um, carrying me through all of this. I really hope that you join me. It's kind of an offering to me too, because as you probably know, there's nothing I love more than doing, doing my deep soul work. Uh, in really good company alongside others who are signed up to sincerely do their work magic happens and uh, I would love to make some magic with you this Saturday I specifically made it short so that uh, a short thing so that hopefully you can just at least clear clear out the middle of the weekend and give that 
to yourself. Um, it'll be a beautiful day, a deep day, and it'll give you plenty to work to work on in this in this upcoming fall season. Plenty of tools to work with as you as you step into whatever the next chapter of your journey is.